It's getting to a point where it's not fun anymore. I've said that for a long time, but really it's, gets, it's getting downright scarily ridiculous. Ridiculous what's going on with uh, the man who is supposedly leading this country, hmm. Donald Trump. Some of us from the very beginning, from the very beginning, has said, you know what? I never really thought this about Donald Trump. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. But, yeah, kind of racist. <laughs> you know, I, there were clues that would drop here and there. You know, a little crumb or two. But, uh, you know, it got to the point where it's like, nah, man. I, the guy, is, 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 you know, he, it, he it's not an accident anymore. It's not somebody that's just, you know, so privileged that he's shielded from reality. No, the, the, this is a man that is, maybe he doesn't think he's, just flat out racist because you know I I'm not gonna you know I, I I don't hate black people but he certainly goes out there and encourage encourages those that do and hate any other uh, uh, group of people whether it be people of color whether it be women or whether it be uh, homophobes out there he fans the flames man and what makes hmm. it what makes it even more sad is that there's so many people out there who fancy themselves as fair people who say I'm not racist but when he does something that is that is obviously racist they try yeah, they make excuses for him mm -hmm. and I'm just like what's it going can take for y'all to find this man out to, to, to see this man for what he is he's just going to lynch a motherfucker on the White House lawn I mean, what do y'all what do y'all want? <laughs> I mean, what, what is he just gonna just have to come out? Is this gonna come out with a, with a, in a clown hood and get in the mic and just say nigga? I mean, you know, what do you what do you what what is it gonna take for this man? Because like I said, from the very beginning, we have said that this man should not be in office because he already uh, he already encourages uh, fear, which leads to hate. When he was talking about immigrants before he was even in the office, and everybody remembers this classic episode right here. They're drug dealers, they're murderers, and these, you know, whatever uh, other bad term you can find for him. You got the picture. It was he went out there and tried to actually drum up support for himself by scaring people mm -hmm. with 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 like his his unfounded. No proof at all of what he's saying with his xenophobia. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. You know, just a few. <laughs> you know, <it's laughs> three of them. Yeah. Like, not, not only has this been proven wrong, you know, I mean, you can find that information for yourself, but people know this now and they just want to stay ignorant. Because he has emboldened these people. He, he, you know, people, people, you know, he knows what he's doing and people read between the lines. He's saying this because he knows that's how he's going to drum up support for himself for this. Because he's a, he's a, he, you know, this guy, he is a, a you know, he's, he's a, 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 what do you call it? A, a narcissist. Mm -hmm. and all he cares about at any, at any cost, no, no matter who his base is, if he feels like, my base, you know, a, a group of racists on my biggest base, and they're going to get me the, they're going to get me to the goal that I want. Then he would do it, and that's exactly what happened right there. But people are like, ah, nah, I don't know what's happening. You know, and by the way, even if I kind of agree with this, ah, right, we all know he's not going to get to the White House. Ah, right, you know that. Well, it did get into the White House, and at the time that he was ask, asking for people to vote for him, he and he, and he, he stressed. I, you should, I love the way this guy. I don't even have a clip of it, but I love the way he says African Americans. African Americans <laughs> should like vote for me. Him to say that. Yeah, Afri I mean, he, <laughs> African Americans got about ten A's at the beginning of him. <laughs> African Americans should vote for me. What have you got to lose? In, <laughs> he said, "Yeah, yeah. What have you got to lose?" And oh but it, as for black people to vote for him, and one of the first things that he did when he got into office, let, lest we all forget. He appointed as his strategist Steve Bannon, who, if he's not a if he's not a nationalist, a white nationalist, he's got ties very close to them. Let's not forget that, you know, if you even excuse uh, uh, Steve Bannon, who was fired, uh, or actually he was going to be let go, but he distanced himself after Charlottesville. At least he had enough sense to do that. Uh, you know, uh, Trump has backed David Duke. 
a, a former <laughs> Grand Wizard. And I'm sorry, you don't leave that shit, man. You know, and David Duke ain't proved to anybody that he's turned around. Brought all these people to the White House. You have fucking white nationalists and racists surrounding this man. Have we not forgot that even today, this man has, and I hope this plays, I'm going to have to refresh it. Let's not forget that this man today, after the, the, the Central Park Five, have long been proven innocent. Mm-hmm. And even brought more aware to, uh, uh, the, there's more awareness brought to that since the Netflix show, uh, uh, when, when they see us, he still has not apologized for calling for the deaths of these men uh, in several ads that he took out and just put the most hateful, the, the most hateful rhetoric, uh, uh, rhetoric out about them. Of course I hate these people. And let's all hate these people because maybe hate is what we need if we're going to get something done. I mean, it's incredible. You know, that's his 1989 CNN uh, interview that he did uh, at the time with not only uh, CNN, Larry King. You spent a lot of money taking ads that seemed, Donald, to the casual reader, insightful, like vigilante. Wow. And that's when he took, if you don't know, he took ads out saying that he wanted to bring back the death penalty so he could immediately put these guys to death. Death penalty is a shitty Mm -hmm. thing anyway. I'm going to tell you, I don't care what side you're on. Uh, I just want you to think for a moment. uh, These kids... If they, if Trump had got what he wanted with the death penalty, they would have been dead mm. of a crime they mm-hmm. didn't commit. And I just want you to think about how many innocent people of all colors, of all walks of life, who have been who have been executed, who did nothing, all uh, because people just want the illusion of justice. He's only for himself, you know. Whatever agenda they think he's for them, that's not it. Um. It's just a sad state of affairs, man. I, I, well, I'm try, I'm try, I try, I try my best not to look at any of this new stuff. Here is my my wife sees all into it, and she gives me the the cliff notes of it, so I can kind of yeah. keep aware. But for me, I'm just I'm tuned out, dude. I can't yeah. I can't do it. You might want to tune in, man, because he puts a lot of things out there that are out in the open. He says mm-hmm. he tweets it yeah. out there for the other oh, president. And I'm gonna tell you, and, and and I bring this all up because if even if you let all that go. Mm-hmm. What he did this weekend is despicable, man. Hmm. I mean, it's 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 it hard. I mean, it ain't even it ain't even just racist. I mean, it's some good old fashioned racist. <laughs> you know, oh, we, ra- we talking about the racism, man. It's we back? it's some good old fashioned racism, man. I'm talking about some good old fashioned racism from the '50s and the '60s, man. That all that go back to Africa shit. The real <laughs> shit. Yeah, the real shit. You know, that OG <laughs> racism, you know. <laughs> the African booty scratcher stuff? Yeah, man. <laughs> Lord. You know, and they use pure ingredients at that time. <laughs> none of pure the, hate. Yeah, none of this processed racism we had today. We, we, he, today he gave us some old school, some old school pure. <laughs> organic <laughs> Organic. You know, it, that, the, it was almost, the racism was almost like having a home-cooked meal. Dang. Except it's racism. <laughs> you know <laughs> There's and, no vegan racism. Is <laughs> oh, and what I mean by that when I say that, go back to Africa. Shit, he told four congresswomen in a tweet today. And if you don't, if you don't know uh, why this is so insulting, allow me to explain. Four congresswomen he talked to today, and he didn't really name them by names when he did this. And these tweets are out there. There's a screenshot from MSNBC. So interesting to see progressive Democratic Congress women who originally came from countries whose governments are a complete and total catastrophe, the worst, most corrupt and inept anywhere in the world, if they even have a functioning government at all, now loudly and viciously telling the people of the United States, the greatest and most powerful nation on earth, how our government is to be run. Why don't they go back and fix the totally broken and crime infested places from which they came? Then come back and show us how it is done. These places need your help badly. You can't leave fast enough. I'm sure that Nancy Pelosi would be very happy to quickly work out free travel arrangements. Meanwhile, three of these women are saying, mother from America. (laughs) Go back to where? (laughs) Go back to go back to Michigan or where I'm from. You know, it's like, what the are you talking about? That is what meant. Listen, that's what I mean by that old school racism. Because mm-hmm. here are the four women that he is talking about here. Of course. And, and I'm looking at this from, this is from uh, mm, ABC.net. All, and it, it, keep in mind, not one of them was white. 
you know, not one of them were like, hey, go back to Scotland or the UK or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, you know, no, go back to your Nordic roots or something like that. No, they were all women of color. Mm-hmm. It, and, and only one was not from, was not born in the United States. Uh, the, these women are, and you, you know one of them who's been out there in a while, are from, New, from, from New York, Congresswoman <laughs> Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, from Minnesota, <laughs> Congresswoman Ilian Omar, from Michigan, Congresswoman Rashida, what is that, Tlaib, 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 and from Massachusetts, Congresswoman Ayanna Presley, you've heard of some of these people, and all of them are United States citizens. And one of them, when they came over here, and I'll tell you uh, they, about them now. Three of them born here, right? Yeah, yeah, all uh, three of them born here. All, and uh, here's here it is in the article. Only Miss Omar was foreign born, but she uh, emigrated to the U.S. at age twelve after spending much of her childhood in a Kenyan refugee camp. But she been here since she was 12. She was a kid. Uh, I don't have time to really go into it, but you can look up on how the, you know, this whole thing about welcoming everyone to this country, it really was meant for people of a lighter skin tone. <laughs> it really was meant for people from, from uh, you know, from more of a European country. Well, you know, it's meant for white mm-hmm. people. Uh, you can, uh, and I, one day I will go into this. I don't have time to do it tonight, but you can nope. look up the history of this, and that is, you know, I mean, shit. You know, they only brought us over here because we won't. We, you know, we were slaves. <laughs> you know, they didn't. They didn't mm-hmm. want. They didn't want you over here if you were a darker shade. And that mentality is where the roots of this racism that we see here, because it was that mentality that told people, no matter how much you were an American, no matter how much you were born here, uh, you were, if you you were not. Uh, if you if you didn't fit into what people traditionally see as America, uh, apple pie and white people, <laughs> you know, then you were probably not <laughs> in that seen, order. In that order, <laughs> then you were not seen as American. Um, they the uh, that's because for years I grew up with the old the the old fashioned original racism I'm talking about. I grew up with pe- with, with people saying that go back to Africa. That was that, that. That was the big go-to. That was the slogan. I was not, you know, I was not, I was not born anywhere else. Why do, why do, you know, how how come, uh, you know, white people are called Caucasian Americans? They put that right. slogan on us, African American, because it's still a way to separate us. We're a special category of American. Mm-hmm. You know, we're not real American, and that's what that's why it's so bad what Trump did to uh, th- this weekend to tell somebody to go back where you came from when you're a person of color when you've been. When, when, for at least three of these women, when you were born in this country, that is about as fucking racist as it can get. Mm-hmm. And I and I don't know what more you you, uh, you know people. I don't know what, what people want. I mean, this guy is. And, and, I, I mean, I don't know how many times I can spin this where this is somebody that is not meant to lead unless. You were meant to lead a certain group of people who really took his slogan of "Make America Great Again" is "Make America mm-hmm. White Again." No matter, no matter what, you're not seen as a true citizen because you don't live up to that image that people think. I mean, that's why people can fight for this country. I bring this up all the time. I don't give a fuck about a flag or a song. Mm-hmm. Sue me, man. I don't give a. F- about you and your feelings right now. The flag don't mean <laughs> shit to me. I won't burn a flag. I won't go out there and wipe my ass on the flag in front of you or anything like that. But if you ask me my mm. true feelings about a flag, fuck you in that flag, man. That flag don't mm. mean shit. People make laws. People make change. Americans, you know, people are Americans, not that flag. Mm-hmm. My father Got fought the for the fucking country and he didn't even get a chance to vote when he came back. And he still had to go to segregated bathrooms. He still had to go to segregated diners. And mm-hmm. yet he... No, he was he was willing to die for this country, so that shit don't mean anything to me because to a lot of people, you saw the Jim Crow laws and other things that were established at the time. He was never seen as American, and mm-hmm. he was never seen as American because a lot of people they didn't they weren't comfortable seeing even no matter how many years we've been here, they weren't comfortable seeing the black person as American. That was not their image. You were always a second class citizen. And I don't give a fuck if they, people say, well, he's not really racist. He's just using racists out there. He's a fucking racist if he's pushing those agendas. And if he's getting votes from those people. And that's exactly, he knows exactly what he's 
fucking doing, man. He just doesn't care. <laughs> and that makes him a racist by proxy. Get the fuck out of here with so that. So these don't count as like hate speeches or anything like that? Uh, no, because he never, you know, he, look, the guy has a way of, of of skirting that line of just yeah. straight up hate speech you know he he talks he yeah. talks in codes right talks in codes and just goes to the precipice of what he's going to say and then uses a different type of term and you know he you know he, he I, i'm not giving him credit for being a wordsmith but he's able to skirt that line without I mean, you know he jumping have a lot of lawyers over, that you know? he can ask and all that yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous man it's scary to let a guy in here and get away with this uh, mm -hmm. I tell you the uh, you know the problem with him probably being reelected re again is that yeah we just honestly the Democrats just don't have them, them, themselves together I mean listen in an right. ideal world we, we, we don't even be dependent on a two party system like this we, you know we yeah. do whatever we can to do but I mean it is what it is right now and uh, you know this guy uh, he has a chance just because I mean we got 24 candidates right now I mean, it might have been whittled down. We got yeah. 24 candidates out there. Shit, we got one chick who's a goddamn, I'm, I'm almost like a Wiccan witch, <laughs> you know, <laughs> who's, uh, you exactly. know, talking about crystals and shit. I mean, it's, 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 it's these are the kind of people that used to run for mayor. Now, you know, now we got to run for, it, you know, trying to run for president. Is, is this the most candidates we ever had or is it close? I, that's a good question. I honestly yeah, don't know. That, it's a lot is, right now and none of them yeah, are really standing out. Everybody's. At this point, at this point, you would have somebody that would, that would be gaining momentum, and nobody's really gaining momentum right now. But I do know one thing: is that if I mean, you had so many examples now of this man being a racist, of this man being a sexist, of this man just being a fucking liar, just touting the <laughs> Bible, talking about the Bible all the time, and you goddamn mm. ignorant, stupid ass evangelicals fall for it. I want to hear. He doesn't care about. No, the he Bible. don't. No, he don't care about them. This man can. He can wipe his ass with the Bible and sleep soundly at night like a baby. He don't give a. But you dumbass evangelicals, and yeah, I'm talking to you. I don't give a f about you. You stupid mother f evangelicals. You let this man. Mm -hmm. You let this man take advantage of you. Are you really that fucking dumb? Are you seriously that fucking stupid? You must be. I mean, I really think. I mean, if I was to talk to an evangelical right now, I don't care if you have me, have me over for dinner. I'll talk to your grandmother. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> you know, because no, I'm care. just racist. They would say, <laughs> and that's what it is too. A lot of them just know. No. But they talk about how pure they are uh, at heart with their values, family, children, love. For white people. And you motherfuckers, <laughs> hey, you. yeah, you hate, you're selfish, you're hypocritical, and this is the point that you, you look, I'm giving you a compliment by calling you hateful hip hypocrites, because if I'm calling you stupid, then, you know, that's just a whole other level. Of, you know what I mean? You're, <laughs> he's very dangerous for our country right now. He's dangerous for the world, not only for this country, actually. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But oh well. Oh. Hey. <laughs> hey, you know, we've we've made it so far. <laughs> for whatever for, for whatever that's worth. Here, let me hear the chat say about this. Right? Damn, Corey going off on everybody tonight. Come on, man. Come on. Y'all I mean let's 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 really be I'm not against religion. I'm not I'm not even you know, I'm not even like a person that's like I I don't want to be mad at another political party, but you know what's up. Just come out. I read you come out and say, "Yeah, I'm just racist, and that's why I want them." I just come out and say, "You're stupid." Don't fuck, don't don't make us all look dumb. You know, I mean, come on, get the fuck out of here with that. I mean, come on, man. Anytime Captain America got to get on your ass, a Captain America, man. <laughs> mm, this is racist. this cap. The, the, the man is called Captain America. That's you. You don't get any higher of a patriot than this man right here. You think Trump is gonna be? Oh, I am the Captain America. <laughs> I am the Captain now. The, he goes by Chris Evans, but it's Captain America. Yeah, this is racist. He said the only thing worse than actually being hateful and racist is casually wielding hate and racism to activate your base in an unrelenting, painfully transparent, and crushingly, crushingly on-brand effort to soothe your only true devotion, feeding your insatiable ego. Yeah, man. Well said. <laughs> yeah. Next time, just tell him, Captain America, say, F*** you, man. <laughs> you know, don't be nice about it. He said it in a nice way. <laughs> eloquent. Yeah, he's more eloquent than me. You know, that's for sure. Oh, well. What are we going to do? Not a goddamn thing, apparently.
Yeah, nobody else see you another four years, huh? See you another four <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit that subscribe button. It's right there. It's really easy. And also, check out our main site, doubletoasted.com. Over there, you'll find the long version of this video, uncensored, unedited, along with the live streams that we do almost every night of the week. We're very busy people. We do a lot of stuff. We want you a part of all of it. Check out our store, dtmerch.com. Support us over there. And remember to always stay posted.